Hello, welcome again to Racecraft. I've got this little 350 Chev here that I'm going to put aluminium cylinder heads on. Now, it's running a roller cam with a reasonable amount of lift, and of course the valves are bigger than standard valves. So we've run into the problem of not enough valve relief. The whole short motor is assembled, and this problem has only just been recently discovered. So what do you do? Obviously the proper way to do it would be to pull the motor down, take the pistons out, take the pistons off the rod, set them up in the milling machine and fly cut the valve reliefs as necessary. It's a lot of work. So there is another way and that's what I'm going to show you. Alright so what we need is a cutter so we can actually do the fly cut on the cylinder head itself. To that end what I've bought is a 4V Cleveland valve and I'm going to turn this valve into a cutter so then we'll be able to bolt a dummy cylinder head on with the cutter in it go in with the drill and cut the valve relief in exactly the right position all right so I've got the valve set up here in the dividing head I've angled it up so that we can back cut the valve so that we actually get a cutting edge so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take 18 cuts across the face of this valve to give us 18 little cutting edges. The only reason I've picked 18, it's pretty much at random, but it gives us enough cutting edges so when you go to drill, when you go to do the fly cut, it doesn't want to jam into the, into the head, it'll just keep cutting in a nice cutting motion because as one tooth is leaving, two more teeth are coming in to take its place. Continue on and I'll cut all 18. I won't bore you with every single cut and we'll come back when I've got all 18 faces cut. Okay, there's our 18 faces cut. So that's ready to use. This is our dummy cylinder head. It's just an old cast iron used cylinder head. This is our, our cutter. So this will position it in just the right place over the valve for us and lucky it fits nice and neatly into the combustion chamber. So we'll get that bolted onto the block now and we'll go through and, uh, and do our first fly cut. Okay my assistant here is going to fly cut this for me. As you can see we're just doing it with a cordless drill. doesn't require very much pressure. Just press down gently on it. Then we'll lift the head off and we'll have a look and see how the, uh, how the fly cut looks. There we go, there's our fly cut done. So what we'll do now is we'll put a lifter in, put the aluminium head on, and we'll check the piston to valve clearance. We've done all four valve reliefs now on this side. Next step will be to roll the motor over, do the other side, and uh, then we can do the plasticine and check it all out. Okay, we're just gonna put the head on now. We've got the head gasket on so we get a true reading. And we're only putting it on with a couple of studs because we don't need to talk the head up or anything like that at this stage. We'll put the rockers on, or a rocker on, and to go through a rotation. All right, so that's our, our depression in there. So I'm gonna take that out of there. Now I'm gonna cut it in half so we can see it end on. Just carefully, Whoop. there we go. And that's our clearance there. So I'm just gonna measure that now with our calipers here and we've got about 98 99 about a hundred thousand so we have a ton of clearance now we had two problems here with this piston the valve we wanted a tiny little bit more depth we also needed to take out the radius in the bottom of the factory casting and we needed a slightly bigger diameter so we've achieved all of those three goals in one single cut so that's been pretty successful Okay, to sum up, we took a Cleveland valve, I put it in the milling machine, 
cut the cutting edges into it. The size of the Cleveland valve being a bit bigger than the Chev valve gave us the larger radius and that did all eight pistons. It's actually still quite sharp. Um, so that worked really well. Now I realise that if you're, if you're at home you're not going to be able to do this sort of thing because you probably don't have a milling machine. But you could probably still do that carefully with an angle grinder. You wouldn't have as many teeth, but if you went in really carefully with a little thin one mil disc, you'll probably still make a cutter out of a, out of a valve without too much trouble.